In this video, let us see how do we download JDK into our system. So before looking into how do we look, download JDK into our system, let us see do we have the Java kit into our system or not. So how do we check that? Go to your start and type CMD. In your command prompt, you need to type it is Java hyphen version. So here you will able to see that Java is not recognized as an internal or an external command which means there is no JDK available into our system. So now let us see how do we download JDK into our system. So you can pick up any one of your favorite browsers and type JDK download. So the first link that you see here the Java downloads. So here you just click on this link it will redirect you to a new page. So let us see to download the Java JDK 17 to our system. Now I am using an operating system which is of Windows. So I will click on JDK 17 and here I am using an operating system of Windows. I will go to Windows here. So in Windows, I will be downloading the installer for JDK. So where is the link? You just need to click on this download link here. So it will take some time. You are able to see the installer is downloaded. So let us go to the file now. So here you are able to see in my downloads, I have my installer ready. You just need to click on it to start installing. So it will just ask you a few permissions. You just need to click on yes. Then you just need to click on next. Here, if you want to change the location of installation of JDK or the Java file, you can change it, but I want to keep a default. So I'm not changing anything. So where will it be in my C drive into my program files? I'll have another folder called Java inside Java. I have a JDK 17. So that will be my location for my file, which gets downloaded. So click on next. So let us see how it gets downloaded. So once this is done, you just need to click on close. So let us check whether it has got installed into our system or not. So let's go to C drive. Let me go to my computer. In my C drive, if you remember the location, it is into my program files. Here I have my folder called Java. Yes, I have J JDK 17. Perfect. So it is installed into my system. I have no issues with that. So now is this the installation needs to be done? Yeah, this is the same installation that you need to do. Once this is done, if you go back to your command prompt, and type java hyphen version you will be able to see the java which has got installed the, the latest version which i have installed will be popping up here previously it was not the same output now it is changed now let us do a small configuration for our environment variable in in some systems it might not be compatible to get the compatibility of java into your the java into your system so we will do a small change so let me go here go to the environment variable here in my environment variable can you see here this is the new window that opens up here there is a small button called environment variables click here now you will be able to see a variable called as path yes in this path, you want to edit, you need to add the JDK's location. How do we do that? Go back to the same windows where the JDK is installed, where you are able to see the bin folder, open the bin folder, copy the complete location, it's control C. Let me come back to the environment variable, just add a new one and paste it here. So this is one configuration that you need to do the other configuration is in the same environment variable you need to add a new temporary variable or a user variable you need to click on new on the top give the variable name as java underscore home and pass the variable value as the same instead of the bin you remove the bin value the bin folder and just click on ok once this is done, close everything, go back to your windows, 
again go to your command prompt and type java hyphen version so you should get you should be getting the same output so this is the configuration for installing jdk into your system